What you been throwing hard? Getting it, getting these drugs, distributing, doubling money and flipping it. Back in the booth and I'm killing shit. I'm the same kiddo, ain't different. My niggas the same, we sending them shit. I'm in my bag, better get in it. You ain't the man that you should've been. I could be humble or cocky. It ain't a nigga. Can you ride like a pony? Ever you want it, mommy, you can call me. Like TNT, I wanna have us a 3D, make it a movie. DVD, all of us got our phones on DD. Like, damn. Take the free, that's in me. Next year, I got a BB. Polishers like the eatery, none of these other niggas ever seeing me. Marty. Marty. I don't wanna talk about money. Like money, I, I just talk about money. Like money. I don't know. Fuck it, I'm gonna talk about money. I thought he was talking about the brand. Nah, he's talking about like the body. Can't get these niggas off for your body. I wanna put it all in your body. Wanna get in your jaws so my dick is off. Let my dick is off for your body. I got a different talk. If a nigga say that he don't want you. Okay, I could, I could vibe with that John right there. I got some more shit too, for sure. They got some heat over there in Y right now. Okay, okay. Have you been up there? Uh, I have been before, not recently. Probably within like the last. I think we went two years ago. Yeah, that was two years ago. We went to uh, Manhattan. Horrible experience. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going up there for Easter. That's the crazy part. Don't drive. No, 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 no. I ain't driving. I ain't driving. That's the stupid shit I did. Drove down there. <laughs> Couldn't find nowhere to park, huh? You had to park in a, a spot overnight. It was like 50 piece. Ah, uh, night. Yeah. Damn. That shit add up, too. Then we was there for like Veterans Day. So, like, we trying to dip out, get to where we going. A five minute drive took an hour and a half. I was like, I was like I'm never coming back to New York again until I'm like here on business or some shit. I feel that. Hey, what's the deal? You watching X Files, X Files, X Files, the podcast. You feel me? Hey, I got another special guest in the building. You feel me? I'm about to turn up this year. You heard? T- turn yeah, up the whole 2024. You feel me? We about to start cracking it off. You feel me? It's February. It's Black History Month. You know, I got a good author up here, content creator. Appreciate Marketing it. genius, you Appreciate feel me? It. I got the boy Jawan Hill up here. What's up, bro? You forgot one thing. Oh, what did I forget? Nah, I'm wildin'. Nah, you good. Oh, he's serious. <laughs> I'm like, damn, I thought I had I a good feeling intro. feeling a little bit. I was about to say, you, you forgot Mr. Bitches, but I'm chilling. Oh, okay, okay, okay. <laughs> nah, but I got Jawan Hill here, man. You feel me? An author, marketing genius, you feel me? Content Appreciate creator, it. my boy Viral on TikTok. Appreciate it. You feel me? What's the deal, bro? I'm blessed, bro. Happy to be here. I've been waiting like two, three years to be on. I'm like, all right. Hey, man, yeah. better late than never. You feel me? For sure. That's all. You feel me? So for people that don't know you, tell the people about you a little bit. Uh, My name is Juwan. Uh, if you don't know me, your girl do. I'm fucking around. Um, okay. I'm a, a self-published author times three, uh, content creator. Uh, I like to market for brands, musical artists in the city of Pittsburgh. I got a magazine called uh, uh, Untitled at, at a, I mean, U-N-T-L-D mag. Yeah, bro, that's that's pretty much a... You said Untitled. What yeah. does Untitled all cover, though? You said, so does it just cover just artists? No, nah, so we do fashion, music, and pretty much any form of entertainment. So if you're good at whatever it is that you do and you have an audience, we're willing to for me to work with you and cover you. Okay, okay. Feature you. So what's some good fashion trends, you would say? Fashion trends? Yeah, so what's, some, what's some fashion trends that are good right now? For me personally, I, I feel like everybody's reverting back to like baggier pants, baggier style pants. We was going through a wave when we was in high school and stuff. Obviously, we were far removed from that where everybody's pants were skinnies for real. I get what you're saying by that. I seen uh, a, a few videos of you having a couple people up there and they're basically showing like their main pieces in their closet or their favorite pieces mm-hmm. or something like that. So, did you just like pick people like from out the city to do so? Yeah, so. Bro, my approach to everything when I'm looking through, like, who I want to have on Untitled, I'm like, all right, are they consistent? Do they know how to, like, talk on camera? Like, have they ever been on camera at all? And do they have an audience? And my approach always to Untitled is why would people care about this? Mm. So if I'm going to put something out, it got to make sense. Like, why do pe- why are people going to share this? Why are people going to like it? And that's why I was like, oh, I could create a magazine for different people who are up-and-coming artists who aren't necessarily being validated because they're up-and-coming. And they still have an audience of people that are interested in the things that they're doing. So how can we can like bridge that market between the starving artists and their audience and them just feeling credited for the things that they put out? But as far as the um, it's called actually it's called what would you wear to? It's basically we have people on. They'll bring a few outfits and it's like what would you wear to Milan Fashion Week? And somebody that's interested in fashion, they design an outfit that's catered to that theme. Okay. And then okay. they'll come and then they'll tell you why they chose it and yada yada yada. Okay. And I see you've been doing like a lot of photo shoots for artists too. Yeah, you know who are some of the artists that you did photo shoots with? The uh, brand I did some with Chris Hollis. Uh, he was signed to Taylor Gang. He's an R and B singer in the city. I did some with Sticks. 
Um, Deja Monet recently. Shout out Deja. She dropping soon. Shout out Deja Monet. Fusha. She she's like that. That's yeah. probably that's she's like the first person I actually like worked on a full rollout with. Like everybody else is kind of like we came together, put out you know a small project. But Deja, we've been talking about her project since August. Like planning I got it to, out. I got to see her uh, perform like I want to say like two three weeks ago. Mm-hmm. I was out. I was at the winery. Some of wi- winery yeah, the, event uh, in Homestead. Yeah, yep. like across from Eon, Little mm-hmm. Down. Yeah, I was there. And I got to see her performing a couple other artists in Pittsburgh. And yeah, she definitely dope. Shout out to Deja Monet. And that's she get, she sent me some gems for the radio too. I be playing. She got some heat coming too. She yeah, that's all I'm gonna say. She got some shit coming for sure. Facts. I- anyone else? Any other artists? Uh, right now, I'm, I shoot with. I already said I shoot with Fed today. No, you didn't. I don't know. You probably Sorry. did. Okay, I'm a little so you buzzed, I ain't gonna today. lie. Okay, I'm shooting with uh, Fed the God. That's whatever. Okay, you're taking a shot, but go ahead, though. You keep chopping. Yeah, I'm shooting with uh, Fed the God. You want a shot, too, bro? Putting him on a, uh, a cover. Him and his manager, we shoot. And I ain't gonna give you out a concept yet. I don't know when you're dropping this. I don't wanna expose my hand too early. I'm, I'm dropping this uh, next no, two weeks. Two before, weeks. Before Valentine's Day. All right, well, basically, I'm shooting a concept with Fed and his manager uh, called Where, Creativity's Me- Cre- Where Creativity Meets Business. No, actually, I'm probably going to drop this, like, next week. Next week? No, 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 probably, up, like, no, no, <laughs> no, no, I'm cap, bro. I'm fucking with you, bro. I'm fucking with you. That's a plan, bro. <laughs> but I'm shooting a concept with uh, Fed and his manager called Where Creativity Meets Business. I'm just attacking the narrative that, you know, everybody gets fucked over in the mu- music industry, and I feel like them two right now are at the top of the, of the city in terms of, like, manager, artist, relationship. And uh, they, I will say they are. Yeah, they. they I could agree with you. They on got that. a good relationship. I done been around them, and it don't seem like you know. It seemed like everybody's happy. So it's like, all right, how can we kind of like take you off story and expose it to the world and show like, yo, niggas ain't just getting bad deals and yada yada yada. Like some people is eating and they happy together. Honey, so, I like I like that. Appreciate it. Talk to me about John Geiger. So you went viral. Well, you went viral a couple times. Sure. Right? I ain't gonna care. You went viral a couple times. Uh, nice. Talk to me about the John Geiger though. Like, so how did you go about that? Um, I see you used what space did you use? What's the other space called? Uh, Chimera. Chimera. Yeah, is that's the uh, media lounge it is. Mm-hmm. Okay, okay. Where's that located, bro? Uh, it's like Forest Hills. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, yeah. so shout out my Chimera boys for sure. Um, but as far as Geiger, bro, uh, you already poured me a shot. Yeah, I, I got, got you, bro. bro. I got you, bro. Ah. Let me tap. Yeah, I tap, bro. But as far as John Geiger, bro, um, I feel like. Um, I feel like I'm talented, bro, and I feel like it's hard to catch a big fish. And that's been kind of, like, my primary goal as of recently. Like, all right, who can I work with? That's, like, the I feel like that power of association, when you're standing next, somebody, next to somebody that's done some shit, mm-hmm. it changes everybody else's perception on the quality of work or whatever on you. And that opens other doors for other big fish. So I was like, I fuck with Geiger. He's from the city. He's got an established brand. How can I get on his team? All right. So I was like, originally, I was like, I studied him for like two weeks. I'm like, oh, I pay attention. I'm like, okay, he responds to people on his story whenever they like take a picture of their shoes and tag him. He'll share it to the story. And I'm like, all right, I'm going to just buy a pair of shoes. And then I'm going to tag him and just be like, and get my whole spiel. And then uh, Mike actually, Fed's manager, shout out Mike, he gave me the game. He was like, well, if you're going to do that, he was like, you might as well create the content that you want to create for him just to show him that you know what the fuck you're doing. So I'm like, oh, shit, that's a way better approach. So I was right. like, all right, I just want to come up with three solid ideas to put out and that first one immediately is crazy i was driving up to ohio to go see a little john shout out to her we don't talk no more uh i was driving up to ohio to go see a little john and uh i posted it and wait did did she live in ohio she go to school up there okay yeah damn he he was on the road like that (laughs) what part of ohio right it was like (laughs) it was like an hour a little hour Okay. I be moving, bro. We'll get back to that. Yeah, yeah, yeah for bro. sure. Keep, keep going on, man. We'll, we'll <laughs> and when I, stuff, bro, <laughs> when I post stuff, bro, when I post shit, bro, I like to, uh, I don't like to be on my phone, like, watching a like, so I like to put my shit down. And so I posted it, and I'm just on the road. And for me, bro, I be taking in those moments to, like, really appreciate myself. So I'm on the road listening to music happy. Like, I'm really doing this shit. Like, everything I say I'm going to do, I do it. And I, that was just my time to, you know, take amongst myself. And then one of the boys, I think Perk called me. He was like, you email him yet? Or you, you DM me yet? I'm like, nah, bro. And I didn't know that he was saying in the sense that John commented that. Mm-hmm. I thought he was just saying, like, did you hit him up? And I'm like, nah, I didn't. Then when I got to Ohio, I looked on my phone. I'm like, oh, shit, he commented on it. He said, DM me. I hit him up. No response. <laughs> what? <laughs> Swear. But I, I was like, he busy moving around. like, And he didn't follow me. So I'm like, my shit's probably in a request of, among a thousand other motherfuckers. So I'm like, we're going to keep dropping. So I dropped again. He didn't comment on that, but his um his partner commented on it. 
He's like, yo, this shit is fire. Excuse me. Um, this is fire. I'm going to reach out to him, da-da-da-da-da, have him talk to you. Ain't moved past that. And then I put out the last one. I put my little brother and I put uh, Denzel in and shout yeah, out them I, too. I seen that one. Yeah. and I seen the, I seen the first one and the last the, the one. The third one, yeah. yeah. The second one was like some regular shit for real. It wasn't nothing crazy. Okay. I didn't even want to put the second one out because I'm like, this ain't big enough. But Mike was like, it's content. Throw the shit out and then right. whatever happens, happens. But Facts, um, that's a fact. I put Denzel and my little brother in it. He commented on that and then said, DM me. Then he followed me. Okay. So he followed me on IG. I DM him. We talked for like, we exchanged maybe two, three messages. I don't hear from him again. I don't know if he got one or not, but I feel like if he had an assistant to kind of delegate those small responsibilities to, oh, yeah. it would be a lot easier to create that. that connection. That's a, that's he, a fact. He, I've watched interviews and shit. Like, he still designs all his stuff. He's still in the warehouse packing shit up. So, like, he got a, I feel like he got a certain attachment to what he's doing that it, it requires a lot of energy. So, the focus would just be on the film, whatever we're doing right now. I seen one interview of him. I seen, uh, I seen, it was a while ago. He was on the New Wave podcast. I don't know if you Wait, remember that. I've never seen that. It was a while ago. It's, it's a Pittsburgh podcast. Okay. It was a while ago. They used to shoot it downtown. The boy Nigel, he used to shoot it. And he's on a New Wave podcast. I feel like oh, yeah, I know I've what you're talking it. about with Nigel. Yeah. 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 But yeah, but, man. So hopefully all that. Well, I, I talked so circle, boom. And on December 4th, I hit his, uh, his partner up. He was like, look, we hella busy right now. We about to drop a few pairs of shoes. Hit us up after the new year. Yada, yada, yada. We going to make it work. I'm like, all right, cool. So I wait a month. I hit him up. Hear no response. And I was, I was like, all right, cool. You know what? I'm going to just wait till God bring it to me. Exactly. Like, or you see him in person or something, exactly. bro. That's what it's going to be. I already be. did. It, it reached him and he followed me on the ground. So yeah, it's just so, like, so I'm it's, good. It's a step by step by step. For sure. I mean, he is global. Exactly. He, and, he's, and he's really like, he's about to reach his peak, I feel like. He's going crazy. He's getting interviewed by hype beasts and et cetera. NBA players is wearing his stuff. So it's kind of just like, you got to wait your turn in line. That's cool. Yeah, you know? when you get interviewed by hype beasts and all that, that's, yeah, that's you major. out of here. You got a lot going on. Yeah. And he don't even live in the country. I think he live in like... He don't live in the country? Is Puerto Rico considered in America? Yeah. I think... Li- oh, all right, cool. That's on U.S. soil. Uh, he Come on, Bookwire Mike. I ain't I ain't a history <laughs> guy. I ain't know nothing about no ge- geography or none of that. But, <laughs> no, nah, he live... I think he live in Puerto Rico. So, it's just like, he's okay. not... He's, feel me? He's I somewhere mean, else. He live in Puerto Rico. That's different. I swear. He got like warehouses and shit out there. I hope I ain't exposing too much, but it's inside of the... It's an uh, interview, I think, so... Nah, you should be straight. Yeah. You should be straight. But nah, we gotta run back to you being an author, bro. That's the yeah. first thing I said. I think, man. Yeah. First book. That first was book was Our World from the Outside Looking In. Our World from the Outside In. Outside In. Yeah. Okay. That was twenty. I think eighteen. Twenty seventeen. No, I graduated twenty seventeen. I dropped it my f- sophomore year of college. So was that was. You, was you nervous about that drop? Nah, not really, bro. I felt like I really had some shit. Mm. Like, you know how when you make a something and you don't even, like, you don't got no references. It's kind of like niggas now, everybody can clothing brand. So it's kind of like you can look and see what everybody else has and be like, all right, like, my shit kind of cool or my shit's hard or my shit's weak. Niggas still ain't just dropping books. So it was kind of like right. it was just me. And I was just like, I don't know. I just felt like it was going to be tough. That's how I felt when I started this podcast. Exactly. You was, for me, a trailblazer. Yeah, then everyone started. You know what I mean? Right. But I feel like, you know, that's just what comes with stuff that you do. You feel For me? For sure. Like, you can't say you the first to do it when you really wasn't the first to Not do it. Not at all. It, Everybody's you know inspired by everybody. Exactly. Even if they don't say it. Come but, on, man. You feel me? Yeah. But, so what was the first book about? Um, Basically, in a, a short story, um, teaching people how to balance out real life versus the internet. Wow. So, love on the internet versus love and our experience of it in real life. Sex and what we see on the internet versus our real experience of it in real life. Like, and Twitter, just pretty hey, much elements of life. Twitter to be exact. <laughs> <laughs> I be seeing a lot of, I ain't going to say no names. A lot of y'all niggas is nasty. <laughs> following all these porn pages. Y'all don't got no damn integrity. At least just have it in your search bar. Y'all niggas is following and liking. Y'all nasty. <laughs> look, if you, look, you can't like it. You can't like it on Twitter because they can see it your You got to send it to yourself. There on you the, go. On the, uh, look, look. <laughs> He got the sauce. <laughs> he got the sauce. <laughs> you said send it to yourself. For sure. Send it to yourself on Twitter if you want to get back to it later. That's Yeah, that's cool. But y'all can't be liking it. Y'all look bad. Oh, man. I be seeing it. These niggas is hungry. I go on a, you feel me? When I, yeah. I go on a page. I'm like, why the fuck did these niggas follow her? Bro. Y'all just. Hey, look. I, I don't think there's nothing wrong with following like two <laughs> or three, bro. I'm going to keep it me. You just can't like them. You feel me? Because yeah, when you yeah. like them, you know, you can see people's likes on Twitter. Yeah, that's how I be seeing. That's how I be finding people like, 
Oh, he, she, like, oh, they wildin'. I wouldn't dare. Like, I can't open up my Twitter when I'm in public, bro. I'm at work or something. I can't open that shit up. That's people be retweeting crazy shit, too. Bro, some people just, they forget what a digital footprint is. Yeah. Like, your long-lasting experience. Like, what you doing, and not to say that you liking a fucking porn page is going to ever affect you, but just, like, the digital footprint in, in general now, people are just kind of like, it's about clout, so I don't even think about that shit. Mm-hmm. And it's like, you're going to be a mom one day, <laughs> and your son going to be in class, and niggas is going to torment him. Hey, man. And you can't, you can't do nothing about that. You're basically talking to the women that got link trees in their bio, only fan pages. How you feel about OnlyFans? Would you date someone with OnlyFans? <laughs> <laughs> he like that shit. <laughs> First of all, I respect anybody on their ground doing their thing. And okay. I love I love women, specifically black women. So let me that's a disclaimer. But me personally, I wouldn't. Um, it's just it doesn't align with my morale and my values. But however somebody else is getting their paper, they getting their paper. This is America. You know? Facts. Is there a difference between the OnlyFans and the stripper? Or, or is, is there that, a difference? Or, or are they in the same category? First of all, I want to say I don't look at a drug dealer no different than a OnlyFans model. So obviously, I don't. I'm, I like women, but I'm saying in the sense that like I judge them on the same pedestal. So I'm not like scrutinizing women for deciding no, to be, no, no, but no, listening yeah. to music when niggas talking about drugs. Like all of that shit is the same to me. I understand that. But uh, is there a difference? Uh, I don't. That ain't my responsibility to to name the job titles. I, do they consider it different? I'm not sure. Okay. I appreciate all of it. Okay. I didn't subscribe. I didn't subscribe to some OnlyFans. Oh yeah. Yeah. You subscribe to something? You got an extra little five dollars. Definitely yeah. paid a good nine ninety nine. I'm for all about support of the creators. Now you know what I did? I subscribed, then I unsubscribed. <laughs> so I don't charge you again. Facts. <laughs> subscribe and unsubscribed. I wanted to see what the <laughs> what was all you know the fuss about. For you know sure. what I mean? I didn't have some just some shorties I went to school with that got OnlyFans. I didn't subscribe to. Just show support. Who? Chill. You wildin'. <laughs> Wow. <laughs> I'm trying to figure out who you want to go to the show at least. For sure. All right, man. Okay, For sure. Okay. I'm like, yeah. I'm going to shout them out. They probably want to come on the show, Yeah, too. but then she going to know I subscribed. Bro, it's okay, bro, because I'll subscribe right with you, bro. Nah. It's a wor- it's supporters, right? It is support, but exactly. I'm not exposing my hand. I feel you. Well, shout out to you. Because my name ain't my name on OnlyFans. What's your name? It's like Mike Williams or something. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not hell no, nah. Mike Williams. The internet is way too powerful, bro. Yeah, like I said, your digital footprint, the stuff that you do, <laughs> <laughs> niggas. Mike, gonna... Mike Williams is crazy. <laughs> <laughs> Mike Williams, like living Lamar. <laughs> M- Mike Williams, man. <laughs> chill, chill, chill. Hey, chill, bro. Chill. Now I gotta change my name. Viral date, man. You had a viral date or something like that. Yeah. Was it like a preparing? What was it like? Was you preparing for it, or was it like the date was just? Like- nah, that wasn't no internet fake shit. That was real life. I was at work on Friday. No, no, no. I'm not saying like internet fake shit. I'm saying like, like, was you like, all right, I'm about to go on this date. It's time to third. Like, what? Did you prepare for the date? Prepare for the date, or was it like just you just recorded? <laughs> Um, no, nah, I prepared for it. Like okay. I had a playlist for Shorty when she hopped in. Oh, yeah. yeah. Listen, one thing about me before this date, before I went viral, I've been smooth with the shorties. A lot of shorties could testify to that. All right. For me, I might not have the most money. I might not be the tallest nigga that you fuck with, whatever, but you're going to remember me for sure. Okay. I got you. I so, got you. I always, I don't know, I always knew how to treat women, bro. And uh, I do understand the internet. I understand what goes viral. So when I put that video out, like I knew it was going up. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I don't just, I don't just, Anything I post on social media is for a reason. I don't just post. I mean, obviously on my Instagram, like I posted a picture of me and Scrap at a a, a party recently. Like that's just for me regular shit. But if I'm putting out content, I I understand like this shit could go. Yeah, I so because yeah. you you know what the people like to see, right? Exactly. I understand. Even this is some free game for Marketing y'all, any content genius. creators. Marketing genius. So there's four emotions that cause things to be shared, right? I read a book called Contagious by Jonah Berger. Right, changed my life as far as content. Um, number one is excitement. So that that's usually physical excitement. So people working out, uh, people dancing, um, people la- things like that cause things to be shared. The second emotion is a sense of awe. So um, a sense of awe is a reminder that you're, the world is bigger than you. So it's kind of like a baby, like, oh, the baby's so cute, or like a waterfall, like, oh, that's amazing. Like, those are the things that usually work. It's a, it's a sense that makes you like, damn, the world is, like, beautiful. It's bigger than me. And then the other two is anxiety and anger. And those are four emotions that cause things to be shared. So I don't know. I know you remember when I was putting like the motivational shit. I was lighting shit on fire, walking out of water because yeah. I read that book and I understood what the fuck I was doing. Yeah, but what happened with that? 
No, you, I, got, you got to do it again or something, or you nah, pass that stage. Not, it's not even a stage, bro. It's just about understanding the power of branding. So when you're on Untitled, if you identify me as the Untitled owner, it has to connect. It has to make sense. The story has to make sense. It's like, oh, this nigga's like, he's being goofy and crazy over here, but it's like Untitled is about music. So it's just like, oh, mm. it, it has to show, it, there has to be a perception that I understand this world and how do I convey that okay who do you know what do you do what do you talk about so I started putting out content like if I was a, a Pittsburgh musical artist here's how I would market myself or here's how da, 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 because I understand if they're coming from untitled to my page it all has to be cohesive what even made you want to start doing that though like content creating period um I mean putting out a book bro um not everybody reads so it's like how can I take the information that's inside of the book and create notoriety for myself out of it. If you're not going to read it, you're still going to know me. So it's like, I don't need you to buy a book. I need you to follow me. Because eventually, I'm going to give you enough value that mm -hmm. you're going to support me regardless. Mm -hmm. It's kind of like I said, um, I, I forget what book I read this in, but when you're when you're asking somebody to purchase, from, purchase something from you, it's kind of like asking somebody to marry you. It's a commitment. So nobody would marry somebody that... Um, they don't trust. Nobody would marry somebody that's not consistent. Nobody would marry somebody marry somebody that's not considerate. So you got to apply that to your brand. It's like, okay, what does it look like to gain trust from a follower? Was it what does it look like to be considerate of my followers? Right. And like, once you apply that, it should just start bubbling, bro. Hey, bro, you you talking right now? I ain't gonna hold you. Yeah. Spring cleaning. A little, a little spring cleaning. A little spring cleaning. Yep. That was the last book, right? Yeah. When did that drop? Uh, I think May of twenty twenty one. So you you went on you, this is like the third year without dropping books. You done yeah. dropping books or are you nah? About I, um, cooking back I want to take a break, bro. So I understood that I needed to be, I needed to get, I needed to get to the point where people just wanted to buy something from me because of who I am, mm. not because I'm trying to sell it to them. Like right. I, I read a Kevin Hart book probably a few years ago when Kevin Hart was at his peak, and I didn't read it because I thought I was gonna go into the book and find. A crazy information. I bought it because it was Kevin Hart. Or actually, I didn't buy it. It was from Perk. Shout out, Perk. Um, <laughs> <laughs> it was his book. But um, reading that book, it wasn't because I was like, oh, Kevin Hart's about to give me some information. It's like, no, nah, I fuck with Kevin Hart, so I'm going to just read to see what he's talking about. Yeah. And I understood that I had to establish that relationship with my audience. Like, people just got to want to read it because it's me. Okay. So I got um, I probably, I got one. I haven't written it yet, but I know the concept. Um, I'll probably drop it like 2026, 2027. I feel like I'll be in an area where I could be a best-selling author by then. Okay, okay. So that Kevin Hart book basically like influenced you, located. Not, not even influenced me. What's it's the book on? I don't even remember, bro. You don't remember? I swear, it's just it didn't inf it didn't influence me. It's just an understanding of how this shit works. Like right. I, I connected my eye. Sometimes you got to make yourself a consumer, and sometimes you got to make yourself a creator right. and view from those lens points. So I, as a as a consumer, it's like, why did I buy Kevin Hart's book? Because mm -hmm. I just fuck with Kevin Hart That was it Like right. I didn't know what the book was about I was like I fuck with K Hart I'ma just buy it and read it Because I think he's funny Did you see that Cat Williams interview? I did How you feel about that? I, think, I thought it was funny I mean They said he wasn't lying man Yeah but I, I I'm 50-50 with it And For not real? that fucking Cat Williams will see this So my opinion on it don't really matter But you asked um, Nah I'm just saying that because He uh, he came out Kevin Hart That's all I'm going Yeah I mean, them then, two always and, got their outstanding. And then he went on tour with her, his, yeah. his ex-wife or something. Like his ex-wife is also, so I mean, I feel like that was a play for her. That's crazy. But she's also, bro. like, really a comedian. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Like, she she um was right, like, helping Kevin Hart write stuff. Oh, yeah? That's what they say, you know, for me. I am obviously I don't know them, but yeah, like, she was helping him out with his jokes and all that stuff, so. So tell me more about the viral date, though, bro. You still talk to lady? Nah, I don't talk to Shorty. Um, oh, for real? Yeah, but I, I mean, I that's cool. I thought that was your Valentine's, eh? Right? Nah, I, she changed my life, so it's cool. She changed your life? For sure. She changed this, this time frame of my life. It wasn't right. like a, oh, my fucking God, but it was like, it brought me somewhere else. It gave me fucking, like, 20 plus thousand followers on TikTok. It gave me, like, an extra 6K on Instagram. And that turned into, like, some people buying my books, some people mm. just tapping into my content. So, no, nah, that experience changed my life. And that's what, that's how I know God is real, bro, because certain stuff just happens. You know, like, I was just bartending a wedding. I seen a beautiful young lady coming with her family. I wanted her. I was already, I ain't even say nothing to her. She walked up to me, like, what should I get to drink? Da, 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 da. I made her something. You could just feel it. Sometimes you feel the energy oh Energy life. when a shorty fuck with you, you fuck with her. Thanks. And she was like, well, if you ever want to see me, see me again, you got to follow me on Instagram because I don't live here. I'm like, where you live at? She's like, Tennessee. I'm like, oh, like, when you when you leave, when you go back home, she's like, Sunday. I'm, this day is a Friday, so I'm like, okay. all right, I guess, I guess our first date is tomorrow. Yeah. The shorties love that. <laughs> yeah. They love that line. 
I'm but I was serious uh, for the beautiful women watching that fuck with me in my content. I was I was genuine. I wasn't on some player shit. I mean, it's player <laughs> shit, but then I ain't playing with nobody. You feel me? It's just player shit because it's smooth. But so you'll drive to Ohio, but not Tennessee, bro. Tennessee is. I would have went. Oh, it's just like, bro. We just had a certain level. You certain, would have drove down there. Not a flu. Okay. I was already going. I was going to go in like November, December. Oh yeah. Yeah. I, I fucked with Shorty. Shorty was cool. People. It right, wasn't like patch that back up, bro. Right? Nah, bro. We just in different. Like she's a little bit younger than me. I don't want to put her business out there no, because her, her identity has been like exposed since that point. But there's just oh, certain stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Um. There's just certain stuff about us that's like we're in different places in life. She just graduated college. I'm 24, about to be 25. I'm for me. I'm moving this way. She moving that way. And there's just certain like she never had a boyfriend before. Like she, mm. yeah, she's a real innocent, like beautiful, kind-hearted girl. So I prefer, I re- if it she not be me. She never had a boyfriend before. Nah, but it ain't on some like. She must have been a player or something, right? Nah, bro. She, you just gotta meet her. She's just a real. You could tell, like you're a real innocent and like pure girl. She, yeah, I can't say she must have been a player. She probably just be chilling and just. Yeah, man. she be her t- be to herself as far as I'm, uh, concerned. But shout out Kiara, appreciate you. For surely, definitely. So, hey, you, do you have a Valentine's? You going to Valentine's Day this year? I'm going to, uh, shout out my boy DC, I'm going to Singles Only. That's where I'm going to be at, because I'm single. Where's Singles Only at? Uh, Somewhere downtown, I could look it up real quick, but it's like an event he throws every single year. My bro, uh, Devin, he throws it every year, and like he's, he's sponsored by different liquor brands and shit. And oh, the yeah. Li- yeah, he's turned. I might slide to that. Turn, yeah, you got nah, to. Wait, I don't know. It's hold, on. <laughs> <laughs> hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Nah, I might slide to that, though. You said it's cracking? Yeah, it's February. For me, bro, what I learned in Pittsburgh is you got to uh, put yourself in both communities. So you got to be tapped in with the white people. You got to be tapped in with the black, the Asian, for you to really be turned. I'm starting to do that. And that's why I went to that urban winery. Mm-hmm. Not going to lie. That's why I went yeah. to, to tap in with a different, different black crowd. crowd. Yeah. That's not the same black crowd that I'm always. I exactly. feel like I'm always, when, I, when I'm out, mm-hmm. I'm not like, you know, them. I'm in the hood for real, for real, like yeah. parties and shit like that, clubs, exactly. whatever, bars, whatever. And that right there was different, the winery. You feel me? Yeah. And I definitely seen different people, for surely. Nah, I'm going to start fucking with me, bro. I'll be, like, tapped in into, like, the real, like, oh, this is, like, art shit. Like, yeah, bro, facts. Yeah, but singles only, February 11th, I'm there. I'm single, and I don't have a Valentine unless somebody, you know, asks me. I feel it. <laughs> I feel it. You did you did Have you ever been in a heartbreak? Heartbroken, yeah. Uh, like you ever had like one of them heartbreaks? Like you couldn't eat like for like a good nah. week or two. I had one when I was like fourteen. This old John I was fucking with. She was grown. I was like fourteen. She's like eighteen. She fucked uh, my world up. Man, what happened? She fucked my world up. Wait, I was just, 18, 14? What? You was in ninth grade? Yeah, ninth okay. or tenth. She okay. was already graduated. Oh, out yeah, of there. yeah. Woody. Nah, key sport. Disease sport. Yeah. Okay. She she gave me something too. See does. <laughs> Disease poor like, that's crazy. She skirt my little young ass. Damn, okay. <laughs> I was sick. And you know how like when you young, like we grown now, so yeah. some shit happened, you could just go on your own. I had to tell my mom. Definitely. <laughs> I was embarrassed. Like I had to walk downstairs, walk in shame, like, mom, something wrong. It I was just, say, how'd you know you had something though? Nigga, because my flames, shit wasn't huh? functioning how it always functioned. It was, it was pissing flames. Nah, my shit, I ain't never been, like, burnt before. I don't know how, I, I never had that experience. Uh, I was just like, it felt like I had to push my piss out. Like, it felt like there was some blockage. Word. And I'm like, something don't feel right. And I went downstairs, like, mom. Wait, hold on, wait. That, if you said you was skirt, then you got skirt. I know, bro. That's I'm just like, a figure of speech, though. Nah, yeah. She I ain't burn me. I had to think that through, you feel me? <laughs> <laughs> Facts. But, um, yeah, bro, I, I went downstairs, told my mom, my stepdad, he gave me some game. Like, look, when you wake up in the morning, do this. And if this happened, you got this. And, yeah. And it was fucked up. I, I love you, mom. But, so I went to I went to the, uh, what's it called? A little, what's that called? Med Express, yeah. you know, feel me? Get, it, get rid of it. And the doctor was like, okay, do you want a shot in your arm or in your butt? And I was like, give it to him in his ass. He paused. Oh he need to learn gosh. his lesson. I was mad as fuck. I ain't got no lotion on. You got me. <laughs> <laughs> You embarrassed Wait, me like this. Nah, my dude's wild, bro. <laughs> but, I mean, I understood because she was like, you shouldn't even be fucking with this grown-ass woman. Like, Facts. Did you tell her? Tell my mom? Nah, the girl. Shorty? Bro, you know it's crazy? I was so young that I didn't understand, like, the, the concept of a disease. Like, I'm thinking it's just some shit. Like, I didn't know she got it from somebody and gave it to me. I'm 14. I ain't even been through sex ed yet. So, like, nah. I told her, but I was just like, yeah, I think we got it. Like, <laughs> fucking idiot. <laughs> 
boy, <laughs> I think we got it together. It's like this is a, a, a bonding moment. Oh my Meanwhile, god! Meanwhile, she scrunched her stupid ass. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't know no better. Hey, I wonder what her reaction was, man. I don't know. You I ain't still keeping tax with her? Fuck no. She got two kids. You don't be seeing her like, like, bro, like should... on the ground or nothing? Not really, bro. I mean, I ain't had no business talking to her, bro. Like, as you may know, I'm not no street nigga. I'm not no tough nigga. So, like, she into that. Like, oh, okay, okay, okay. Yeah. So, like, she got a, her baby's dad is in the streets and shit. You yeah. know, so like it was, it was never gonna be. She, she burnt out. I. Right? I'm thankful that that nigga got her pregnant, and not I. Facts. I, I mean, you, like you said, you was young though, bro. For sure. So you feel me? I was young enough to know to pull out though. <clears throat> y'all niggas, hey. Let me tell y'all niggas, all y'all niggas that's having babies out there. It's right here, bro. Right here. Right here? Yeah, right there, right there. All of y'all that's having babies out here, slow down. Get to know the girl. Have a conversation with her. Stop just busting in shorties. Y'all niggas be tripping. Stop. Do better for yourself. I ain't going to lie. I could count on my hands how many shorties that I, I did it, that to. And that's how it should be. Oh, God. Niggas just be... Letting off and anything, oh, bro. My pull out game a one, like for real, bro. I ain't gonna hold you. What you say? What you, <laughs> what say, you say, bro? bro? <laughs> 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 what you say? <laughs> but yeah, stop just airing off any shorties, man. Like they wildin'. Yeah, you can't just be doing that. That ain't. I mean, I understand. I understand why niggas do it though. Me too. It feels good. I've been in it before, but, but, but only... every time you do it, you don't get that thought like that. That last second. You be hot, too. You be like, oh, oh. It, fe- it feel good for the good <laughs> little two, three seconds. <laughs> you got to go. And then you you might get a little, you know what I mean? You, you say, just... eject those cedo, cuz. Yeah. You got to get out of <laughs> Buzz that button. <laughs> you got to get out of there. Oh, God, man. Man. No, I only did that to one shorty. Oh, that's yeah? A, yeah? Hey, that's legit. I, I got a, probably a good three, four, maybe three. That's cool. Yeah. I remember somebody cried. I was hot. She was crying. That you did it? No, she was crying because I was I was going crazy after. You felt like a fucking barbarian. Oh, I was going crazy after. I was some mad. Shit to the wall. I was hot. I said, "No, nah, man, we get a plan B, dog." I'm mad as fuck. It was like I was like 18. I was hot. She oh, yeah, he was crying. wild. Oh yeah, I was. Bro, you bro. I ain't get scared. Bro, I ain't get scared at 14, gang. Yeah, you was wild. players fuck up. <laughs> they do fuck players up. fuck up. They do fuck up, bro. That's part of life, bro. Let's take another shot though. Let's go. You want a shot, bro? I keep asking you. Smirk scary on the... Yeah. Scary ass nigga. Yeah, man. He want to pull on. up to the interview just to be here. Man, it's little, Take I, a shot. Nigga. I come out the bathroom and shit. He right. I'm like, oh, what's up, bro? I know you was here, right? <laughs> yeah, man. You got to bring this nigga to yoga classes, man. He be falling, bro. He come ain't been there classes, yet. Come to yoga classes, bro. He, said, he, wild, bro. Yeah, he ain't man. been there yet. Nah, I'm calling a spade a spade. Yeah, I'm going to try and get... Per- we know we in yoga at the same time. I be trying to get... We... This was a year ago. Or was that, that last year? Or that two years ago? Year. Yeah, we was in uh, hot yoga. We was doing that. Like, we wasn't going at the same time, but we was both going to the, for me the same spot. Y'all be knowing, y'all be knowing where to see all the baddies. I know there'll be some twerky. <laughs> there don't be nothing but middle-aged white women in these classes, brother. That's your sugar mom right there. Yeah, I hear you. <laughs> <laughs> no, but uh, dude, don't be for real. No. You probably go to spin classes. They be in the spin classes or something. You, it's depending on going, the area, bro. I ain't going to spin classes. That's for you. The area is important, bro. You got to understand where you at and who's going to be there. I feel like yeah. this is a good area. Yeah, this would be a nice balance of, like, young. Slippity, shady side. Yeah. Scroll Hill. I was going to, we was going to, like, pass Morova. What's that, pass Morova? Plum? Murraysville. Mur- oh, yeah, you was out there. Yeah, he's out the way. It was like Hill. a, that's why we stopped going, bro. It was like a 35-minute ride out there. Damn. It was cool because it's like, you feel me, you in a sauna doing yoga. Yeah, it's but that's far as hell, bro. Super far. To keep going to, that's mad far. Facts. Exactly. It's an hour and a half, depending on traffic. And then the classes would be at 5 p.m. So you driving through traffic to get there. Oh you might fuck around, hit traffic, try and go home. Facts. Mr. Bitches, he calls himself. I didn't, I not no more. I that was no just more. the beginning of the show. Okay, Mr. Bitches, okay. <laughs> Mr. What's your turn ons and turn offs and about females, bro? I got to ask you that. Mr. I'm assuming Bitches. that you're talking about just like attraction. Like yeah. An unattraction. Cool, cool, cool. Yeah. Um, I like a motivated woman. I like a woman who. Uh, let's start. Let's start with turn offs. Turn offs. What don't you like? If you can, it's five things. Give me four or five things. If you've been in a fight on the south side in the last year, you are not my type. Okay, that's one. <laughs> that's one. <laughs> no disrespect to somebody that has, but you just not for me. Um, what else is my type? I like a girl I can communicate with. 
Uh, I like hold a funny. Up, hold on. What? What, bro? <laughs> he said, "You been the South Side or East Carson on the South Side over within over a year?" You said fighting, fighting. Okay, yeah. I've been there within the last year. Nah, if you've been there, that's cool. But if you no, you said fight, yeah, fighting. Yeah, hell no. Nah. So she and twelve mixing. Hell no, nah. okay. I didn't cut some shit off because of that. Oh, some, real? some fire shit too. Cut. I feel it, like, gang. Yeah. But good. What's what's two, three, four? Uh. You funny you said turn <laughs> turn offs. Um I hate a shorty that feels like and like I one thing that I feel like is going on in our generation right now is shorties just uh, under the impression that pussy is like pussy is a sex is a shared experience. Like you didn't give me like I didn't just fuck a dead body. We had sex together. That's that's the shit. That's the for me that's what we gave each other. You got a O, I got a O. We good. Right. But I feel like a lot of shorties right now is like I need some money. And that's that's cool if you got that relationship with that guy, but I just feel like when it's a certain level of when it's entitlement, that's when it's unattractive. Right. Like I love to spoil shorties. I'm a type of nigga. You on vacation? Are you going where to eat? Boom! I'm placing a call. Like yo, I want to cover this meal. Like I didn't done that before. Huh. So I'm like I'm a, I'm a generous and I spoil people. But like when you feel like I'm supposed to or I have to, that's get out of here. Yeah. So that's really it. I don't really got too many complaints. Um, so you like to spoil women? Have you ever like? Have you ever like just gave a girl some money just off the rip, just like first Brother, combo? I didn't get. Oh no, no, not first combo. Some shorty, <laughs> you, you ain't never. <laughs> <laughs> you think I'm a loser? <laughs> You'll be surprised. Niggas be doing that because the niggas is. Losers. I never been a nigga that did that, but niggas do that shit, and they fuck it up for other people. Swear bro. they fuck up the market. On God, they do. Uh, I had a girl. Oh man, I had a girl DM me, bro. Swear to God, bro, ask me for some money. I don't. I never met her at all, bro. I just had a shorty do that to me. I, I'm gonna think she from Pittsburgh, bro. I'm like, hell no. Nah. We ain't even have a full convo. Yeah, they wildin'. I even get to say what you doing. A lot of niggas be licks. Money. You're an easy lick. She yeah. don't think you're handsome. She thinks you're a lick. Yeah, facts. I was about to say though. Um, tricking, tricking, tricking. I don't really. I didn't gave a shorty. My card to go to the mall. Oh, for real? Buy a purse, yeah. Okay, just buy a purse? She, whatever she wants. She just wanted a purse. Okay. But that it? was that particular shorty. Okay. I'm still hung up on her. Don't ask me who her name is. Don't ask for identification. I'm not going to tell you. I can't. That's cool. I, I can't. mean, I mean, you got you gave old Grilly, yeah? What's her yeah. name? To Tennessee. Uh, Kiera. I, Kier. I been gave her. But this shorty is in the bird, though. She in so. the bird? Yeah. Yeah. But I didn't give. I gave a shorty in my card. The boom. She going out for drinks. Her go hunt it. Like, oh, Yeah. Yeah, That's loud. but you gotta be my genre. Like when you leave the club, you gotta be coming back to my spot. Facts. Cakes. I ain't never do no crazy tricking shit before. I mean, I definitely pay for meals, pay, bought shoes, bought. I mean, you bought plane tickets. Yeah. yeah, I bought a ticket before. <laughs> I flew something out before. Oh, you flew something out? Yeah, I was flying some. We was going together. No, I bought plane tickets like that. Yeah, I ain't yeah, never, yeah. Oh, okay, yeah, okay, I okay, flew okay. Out. Yeah, 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 got Gosh, you, got you, got you. Out, yeah. I mean, other than that. I did get some ball. I did no. I'm cap. I did. Uh, I did it out of love though. I did it on some just me being nice type shit. I gave. Yeah, yeah. I gave a shorty some money for her birthday, but I don't really talk to her like that. You feel That's me? That's cool. Now, there's a shorty. Me? There's a shorty right now. She got a kid. She be for me struggling a little bit, and I don't even be trying to hit it or nothing. Like we really been cool since. 18 Yeah Anytime I talk to her Yo you good You need something Like just making sure Baby got diapers Yada 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 Cause See? I understand I got a mom My mom's a single mom I understand that shit be hard So I like to look out for people Everybody needs somebody I know how it feels To not have nobody So it's like Any opportunity I get To be there for a person I am Facts bro I feel that 100% Man you said If they fight on the south side It's yeah, something that's good She's finished So what is she on the south today uh, Weekend That's also not my speed yeah. Yeah. If it's she, the only time she's allowed to be on the south side every weekend was twenty twenty one. That's when I was there every weekend, right after COVID. What if she got? What if she got twelve on Sundays? That's wavy. That's a vibe in there. There's some. Oh, there's some what? <laughs> Chill. We ain't having a conversation. We on a podcast. Yeah, that's the thing, bro. This is a podcast. <laughs> exactly. Bro. You feel me? What you say, Perk? X Files. X Files. <laughs> we on X Files for Showski. You did. I got to live with what somebody hears after I leave here. You're going to be straight, bro. You know, this is all. You know what I mean? You but know, I, you know the vibe. There's something I like right now. She'll be in 12 every Sunday. Every Sunday? Is she a bartender every. or something? No. Nah. Why should she be in 12 every Sunday? That's just her vibe. Okay. But I ain't I ain't cutting her off over that. Not at all. Because she, she got a career. So. No, I don't. Have I, your fun. I don't think you should cut her off. Not Facts. at all. 
I want to say not. cut her off. I mean, if you if you rock with her, I want to say cut her off. Yeah. I would I would say I should go spend a bit on that shorter you gave your card to and you let her. Nah, she got a nigga. I think. Damn. I think she got a baby. Nah, I hope not. It ain't over yet, though. I'm gonna be sitting by the toilet. She have a baby. Uh huh. Holding the toilet, crying. Damn. Nah. And okay. then, and then you, I'll be hurt though. Then you ain't gonna be able to eat, bro. I'ma eat. No, you ain't. Niggas gotta eat. Bro, you ain't gonna be able to eat. You ain't gonna have an appetite. I'm trying she to tell you. She might fuck up my sleep a little bit. I'ma eat. Bro, them hard, bro. When shit like that happen, you be mad. You, you be right. Mad. I should just block her. Yeah, just that's block her. The, just just block her. Option. Just block her. <laughs> just block her. Facts. Just block her. Because <laughs> you probably send her a good morning like once oh, in a while. I don't talk to Shorty. Oh, okay, okay. I don't even. Yeah. Do, do you send good morning, Texas? Grand Rising Queen. Oh, he's a Grand <laughs> Rising. <laughs> <laughs> nah, bro. It depend on the. It depend on the shorty. Like bro. I don't hit, I don't hit every shorty with a grand rising, but if she a, she a, a vegetarian and she you feel me, she wears <laughs> scarves and <laughs> grand rising queen. Bro, what's the bro? So you like grand rising queens? You like grand rising people? There's a difference between good morning and grand rising. For sure, I, I'm very particular about my words, bro. So I don't say certain shit. Like if a nigga rap some shit in a song and he's talking about dying, I don't say it because I just. I believe in the power of the tongue. But low key, bro, Grand Rising be having me hot, bro. So why are you saying <laughs> Grand Rising, bro? It's it, that's because the internet made it like corny. No, but when did people start saying <laughs> Grand Rising? People been saying Grand Rising, bro. When, bro? It just came out of nowhere. I never said Grand Rising to no to <laughs> that's no. That's because you ain't a Grand Risinger. I'm not. I'm a Good Morning girl. Nigga like me, I do yoga. I, I be <laughs> Grand Rising queen. <laughs> A grand rising. Hey, shouts to all the grand rising people. For though, sure. Man. And listen. But the grand rising people, they think they're different though, bro. Contrary to popular belief, if she's a grand risinger. <laughs> <laughs> it goes without saying. Put you in a North a North Philly headlock. I'm trying to tell you something. Oh man, yeah. I, I low key believe it, man. Yeah, she yeah. That's yeah. them. That's them. Yeah. Them, them be the ones. Them the ones you check. You, you catch at the wineries and shit. <laughs> you got some. <laughs> Had to fishing with the rod. As you should. You know I, mean? I don't even go out if I if I don't feel like talking to no shorties. I'm not going out. Bro, that's really the only reason? reason I go outside. Bro, there's there's nothing wrong with that unless oh, no, nah, I'm cap. I like the well, yeah. That's gonna come. Right yeah, that's though. a part of the good time. Yeah, I yeah, like the, yeah, I like the vibe yeah, yeah. out though. You feel For me? For sure, you right, you right. Like I like the I like to listen to good the good music, bro, and vibe out. You feel me? I can't say that. I go out and enjoy myself, but the the cologne I sprayed is for for the women. So it's like at some point I I want to interact with some. I may not. But speaking of cologne, this good cologne, bro. I, I I brought two colognes up here, bro. I brought two colognes up here. That's down there empty, bro. But that's fire. This is smooth. So let me teach you something about colognes, bro. Wait, right. shout out to the camera, bro, before you... Uh, you you know giving man? these niggas free ads? I'm giving y'all free ads. YSL. Why? YSL. Free thug. Free thugger. Mariah look good. Oh, God. Oh, This is wow. smooth. I like this. That's this heat. Is, this is woody. This is like a... I don't know what I smell. It's like a bourbon, like a... Lost cherry, gang. Lost cherry. Okay. Lost cherry. That's fire. Heat. I hey, like lost cherry. Hey, perk. Bro, that shit expensive. Damn, Mike, that's bro. It went right through his bro. It see, well, the hills ain't do nothing for you, right? <laughs> that's some heat, but the that's lost, heat, right? The lost cherry got to be like for specific outings, like it got to be. Oh, nah, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's yeah, not that's yeah. not an everyday, not at all. That's like I'm out with something, she mm. got on a red dress, she looking good. Or I'm going out somewhere. There's gonna be somebody in there with a red dress on. Mm-hmm. Facts. Lost cherries heat, bro. I, I like sure. it a lot. You, okay, this is my <laughs> gift to you, bro. Honey, it's my gift to you. But I never gave you nothing. That's, that's my. You ain't bring me no merch. He ain't never bring me no merch. So, oh well, he gave it back. I, I take it. Merch. You gonna give me a gift? That's like, okay. Shoot, bro. Nah, brother. You. Uh, this ain't really a gift. Oh, it's gone. <laughs> Oh, I know what's going. <laughs> Say that much as it is. He tries. I used to work at Nordstrom, so I know the little hey, tuck is in there. Hold on, I, I was spraying it, bro. X hey. out here trying to give out empty gifts. He's hey, wilding. Hey, refill. That's a refill <laughs> for sure. It's only like a seventy dollars refill. I'm getting it for free. Shouts to Cam. Yeah, <laughs> that's my guy. Shout out Cam. I fuck with Cam. Cam, that's my guy, man. Bro, you ain't no, been at Nordstrom in a minute. I quit. Yeah, I know. No, I'm just saying, like, oh, yeah. it's been a minute since you've been there. I was there. Uh, last time I was there was, like, November. That's November. a minute. February. February. Nah, nah, I was there. Yeah, it was November. 
Swear. Facts. It was actually right when I went viral. Oh yeah. Yeah, I pulled up. That's yeah. hard. I swear. How's that nigga that day? I, I remember. <laughs> I remember I seen you walk in the one day. I said, "Okay, what's up, bro?" But I know you worked there. I'm like, yeah. "Oh, you work here and shit." I'm like, "Sort of nigga." Sure. Out, man. Shout out to Norsha. It was cool. Little four months. Yeah, yeah, man. I it's can't. I'm not, I realizing like working for companies and stuff like that, bro. I'm just not a nine to fiver. Like, I feel just, you. It's just not in my spirit to work those. At least, jobs. And, and and the job you was working was like commission and shit. So. Yeah, it was just like mm, it's cool. I definitely get in and out at that joint. I'm happy they made me make me like, make me make my that, own schedule. That sentence fucked you up, brother. Yeah, bro. <laughs> That's my. Line. I'm cutting that shit out, yeah. <laughs> they gonna say I'm. And illiterate. I hyped it. They gonna say I'm illiterate. <laughs> Players fuck up, brother. You Players good. fuck up. You Take another shot, bro. Yeah, I got you. Come on, part another shot, bro. Damn, I, damn. damn, you hit? Damn. You hit? That was just some weak. I wasn't trying to hit the mic, bro. I just did some weak shit. I'm good, though. Oh, swear. My fault, bro. I'm going to have to cut this motherfucker off. Oh, uh, you pouring it like you hit, nigga. Pour it. It's my left hand, man. I'm pouring my left hand. You shaking hand. this shit? You could be in the shot, brother. Yeah, man. Shout out to Mr. Beni. The biggest. Shout out to Mr. Beni. The one and only. Everyone keeps saying, I like Benny. What's Benny? It's Benny. I, I tell people it's beneath, bro. I always tell people that shit, bro. Shout out. Appreciate you. I already he took already mine, took bro. His, bro. We, I was we, turned. You can take our John. He wired. I'm on key. go. I'm about to see where I'm going after I leave here. <laughs> yeah, that I way. I thought you had a shoot, right? I do at 630. I can okay, get some, okay. some in between. Okay. Oh, I got some what you rathers, bro. That's a bet. Would you rather spend a year in jail? No. With the other one. <laughs> or, watch, or, or watch your girl get smashed. That's fine. Okay. That's fine. <laughs> you ain't say my wife. That's fine. Okay. Niggas so, is going. Okay, shorties. wait, wait. Okay, wait, wait. Okay, okay, okay. Would you rather spend a year in jail or watch your wife get smashed? Wifey. Oh. Bro, I'm not built for jail. You got like, there's too much code that I don't know because I never been. Like, when you walk in, niggas is like, you want the bottom bunk? And you don't know that you're not supposed to say, yeah. You're supposed to, nah, I'll take the top. I'll take the top bunk. That's cool. That's cool. But you don't know shit like that. And then it's like, bro, there's no women. I could find another wife. I'm, yeah, you in jail I, for a year. I'm small. I'm like 5'9", like 160. <laughs> niggas might punch on me. <laughs> I'm being there writing niggas letters for them to their parents. Nah, I'm cool. I feel it. I feel it. I ain't it. built for jail. Okay, I got another one for you. Would you rather get $100 every time you make someone laugh or $1,000 after after every... Wait, let me say that over. Would you rather... <laughs> <laughs> would you rather... <laughs> Words it's, is fucking him up. It's the Esmolon, right? <laughs> yeah, that's all getting to me. Would you rather get a hundred dollars every time you make someone laugh, or a thousand dollars every time you make someone cry? A hundred. I make motherfuckers laugh every day. Okay. Listen, a lot of people don't know this. One of my dreams, just on some shit like once I'm accomplished and everything I do in life, and I just got money to blow, I can move around. I want to be a uh, like I want to do stand up comedy. Okay, so you feel like you could do stand up comedy for sure. Okay, for sure. For sure, definitely. So, sir. so if I throw a little talent showcase and I ask you to come up and do stand up comedy in the summer, you gonna do it? I would think about it. Okay. It got to Everything gotta make sense, bro. Like I said, I mean, I mean, you said you want to do that. So, for sure, for so, sure. But that's more in like a. I mean, I wouldn't. I wouldn't legit do that. I mean, but you might be on oh, the flyer or something. Yeah, yeah. I would be. I'm confident enough to get on stage and tell jokes, bro. Okay, I for got sure. you. I got you. For sure. I got another one for you. Okay. Would you rather? The love of your life be with a thousand men Excuse or me. ten of your f- friends smashed it. That's just not going to happen. <laughs> but, like, once she for the bros, she's a no. Um, but, I mean, she could ha- I wouldn't know she had a thousand unless that motherfucker. Okay, a hundred. Yeah, a hundred. That's it. Bro, the older I get, you don't care. I just really. No, I care. I'm about to say you don't care, bro? Just, I just don't got to know. You know, there's a difference between not caring and not knowing. If you don't know, okay. But look, so do yeah. you? You would you ask about a body count? Nah, for real, not really. Nah, and usually, what if she got? But okay, so what if you legit? What if it come up in a convo or something like that? She said, "Yeah, I only got like thirty one. How old is she? Twenty five. When she lose her virginity? Eighteen. <laughs> That's a little over for a year. That, that's probably that's probably too much for me. But look, I was still, bro. In my life, thirty-one bodies at twenty-five is insane. Bro. That's crazy. But like, 
I be trying to be balanced and fair, but some some society standards is just they just are what they are. Double standards is just some are need to be put in place, and that's one of them. And yeah, thirty one is too much for me. But that same woman that has thirty one, I would still take her out to eat. I still treat her like a lady. It's just like you can't be my lady. Okay. Yeah. Too many niggas had access. So you'll fall in love with her, low key. Nah, I never been in love before. Oh, for real? Nah. Like at all? You sure? He think it's cat. I think it's Cap too. I I I, I think old girl name he don't want to say. I think he's in love with that John. <laughs> Look, <laughs> I don't think I'm in love with Shorty, bro. I fuck with Shorty, but like to me, bro, love is just way more than just a feeling. Love is about being in an environment with somebody you feel safe enough to love. Oh, for real? Like it's it's kind of like saying a Shorty's in a relationship with an abusive man and she's in love with him. It's like no, you're mm. not. You're not in love. That's because this this situation don't consist of love. So if I I believe that if you're not in a situ- situation that consists of love, you can't be in love. I could be wrong. No, I, no, I get you. I that's just my opinion. So I don't think I've ever. Been, I do love. I love Shorty still. Um, not on some like I love you, but just like no, nah, I got love for you. I got love for uh, you. But no, nah, I never been in love with nobody. I'm trying to. 2024 is my year. So you ain't never tell no one you love them? Like, you ain't but never tell no girl, like, good morning, I love you, or good night, yeah, I love you. Yeah, but that don't that don't constitute for being in love to me. I mean, but, okay, have you ever been, like, hitting someone and be like, I love you? And kiss her and shit? And shit, <laughs> that, bro, come on, man. Uh, yeah. Probably, like, three times. You dogging about here, dude. You ain't never been in love, man. They wasn't in love with me, neither. I, don't, I feel like there's been spare the moment. There's been one shorty that really been in love with me. Yeah, but it, it was just spare the moment. Yeah. A lot of shit be spare nah, the moment. No, but like, listen, we could say I love you without being in love. So like, what we said in that moment was true. Like, I do love you, but it's just not like I'm in love with you. That's different. I got you. I'm with you. Yeah. I'm with you. There's definitely a difference. For sure. I'm in love with you. I love you. All right. Yeah. Shit. Yeah. Shit. Yeah. Damn. Big difference. You say it to a shorty, you gonna feel the difference. You got me reminiscing. <laughs> Facts. Someone told me I'm in love with you, bro, like two, three years ago, bro. How you feel about that? At that time, I was like, no, you ain't. But I'm like, she probably is. And I'm like, I'm in love with you, too, for real, for real. Like, for real? You rushing me, for real, for real. <laughs> it, was, look, it was around Halloween. Not Halloween. It was around Valentine's Day, too. Uh, last year? No, like two years, bro. Okay. When's the last time you had a girl? Last time I had a girlfriend? Yeah. Like a girlfriend? Yeah. A minute. Facts, a minute. I ain't never seen you cuffed. Situationships. Yeah, them shits hurt more than relationships. Yeah, it was. I always been in the situationships, bro. Yeah, you want a girl? Yeah, you do. Low key, low key. Yeah. So boom, right? Let me pre- present a, ser- a scenario to you. Okay. You want the south? Okay. Shorty walk past you, dime piece. Look good, smell good. She dress nice. Excuse me, my name. Da-da-da-da-da. Y'all exchange numbers. Mm-hmm. Y'all start linking. Y'all going a few dates. It's a great time. You smack it. Y'all been fucking around for four or five months. You love her. You think about making her your girlfriend. Y'all have a conversation about sexual partner. She said, I've been with 30 people. She 28. It's over? It might be. Put your pride Lord. aside, ex. 28? You already love her. 28, though, bro. Nah, it ain't. Nah, okay. It might not be, but I'll be like, damn, what the fuck? Like, <laughs> no, nah, I might be them, bro. I don't know, bro. That's that sounds crazy. Twenty eight is crazy, bro. I don't, bro. Twenty eight is crazy, bro. Bro, me, it, that's a lot. But like, I'm twenty eight, bro. When, like you said, when did you lose your virginity? She lost it at fifteen. Bro, twenty eight people, bro. Fifteen and that's, fifteen and that's one person how, a year, bro. How, how old that's is two she? people a year. How old is she? She twenty eight. All right, bro. First off, you shouldn't be fucking two different niggas a year for one. That's crazy. Niggas got all these standards when it come. He, niggas be love police and pussy. Bro, come on, bro. So hey, what you doing? We ain't talking about me. All right, okay. I'm talking about you. I can love you from a distance. I can uh, love you from a distance. I, I, I fuck personally. with you though. I fuck with you. Listen, baby. Bro, I fucked with you. Listen. You said you did you say I'm in love with her? You love her. You get to the point her. where you want to cover. Like okay. you think about asking her to be your girlfriend. Okay. I don't know, bro, because me, I know me personally, bro. That's just going to be in the back of my head, bro. <laughs> that's Facts. ego, bro. You got to let that shit go. That's an ego thing, you feel like? For sure. That's an ego thing. Why do it matter? If she would you, to me, and it definitely wouldn't matter to me if nobody was in, like, close proximity. Like, I don't know these niggas. I wouldn't care. That's the thing. 30 niggas in the Berg, you probably know 30 niggas. You probably she know at least be, five of them niggas in the Berg. She might be from Chicago. Exactly. You probably know 10 of them niggas, bro. Like, come on, bro. bro. If she in another city, I understand it. 
I understand it, and I don't care, bro. I understand it, bro. But no, what if it's bro. fire? If it's fire. <laughs> If it's fire, bro. Like top three. I'll keep her around. Like, I'll keep, but then again, I don't. But look, you know what's crazy? Sometimes I do ask women. I'm not going to cap. Sometimes I do ask women how much, how many bodies they got, bro. Because yeah. I, I be can't, you got to, I feel like as a person, you got to know, bro. You got to know if she's a hoe or not. I know before I ask. And if, yeah, but sometimes you don't, though. Even if you was to ask your friends and do your homework, you know, this is down the third. You feel yeah. me? Yeah, she's such and such, da, da, da. But you, I feel like you still got to know, bro. Like, you. Nobody want a girl that got 40, 50 bodies. But then again, that's a double standard, like you said. Yeah. It's so crazy because I legit had this whole conversation with Jordan up here. Facts. Girl. Oh, God, I did, bro. Shout out to Jordan. Jordan used to be my crush. Oh, yeah? Yeah, Jordan fire. Okay. I'm proud of you, too. If you see this, I'm proud of you. You doing your thing in Atlanta. If you come back to Pittsburgh. She was just here. For real? Yeah. I ain't there. She was there a whole minute. She but no, nah, I'm playing. Nice. I fuck with Jordan Heavy. Yeah, facts. Shouts to Jordan. She definitely sure. doing her thing, for surely. Jordy Love. For sure. She, yeah, she. Shop here, port. Out of here. Shouts to all the brands. Shouts to Bani. He in the building, man. You feel me? The Shouts one to, and only. The one and only, Bani. Big Stepper. Big Stepper. Show him your Asics. He got on four different brands <laughs> right now, but Big Stepper. Big Stepper. He definitely yes. got on Carhartt Essentials and Asics and Cra- Bani. Crazy work. <laughs> it's crazy work. I ain't gonna cut. Shout out to my nigga Perk. Congratulations on the, the newborn brother. Uh, shout out to my niece, Ayers. Facts, I, I love you, baby girl. Now, like, congrats, bro. You next, sure. bro? You next? Nah, I got like like three years. I got, I, I, like 28 is cool. I got like three years. Yeah, that's smooth. Like three years, you feel me? Yeah, I got to find my, like, I want to be with her. I ain't trying to, like, knock some shit down and then not be together no exactly, more. Exactly, bro. So If I could prevent it. What if you in love with her and before you get her not, you think about getting her not, but she got 30 bodies at 24. That's cool. Listen, bro, the one thing about me, I don't never ask a shorty her body count, body count. if I know it's because she just told me she volunteered the information. So what if she just volunteered? I don't know too many you. motherfuckers that's volunteering 30 bodies. <laughs> <laughs> Girls will ask you the same shit, though. Facts. For sure. But, like, I feel like contrary to popular belief, I feel like they like when you got a decent amount. They I could, think you a hoe, nigga. They like hoes. Don't no woman want no want a man that no woman want. I say that, right? Yeah. You say that now. But nigga, they be, when you talk to them, they be cat, bro. Nigga, you know how many shorties that I don't talk to was trying to go on dates because of that date? Just because they see me treat another woman like that? They like, oh my, you feel me? They probably like, oh, where is this at yeah, in the world? Shorty's it, like, it, oh, you only had me in your room. You got her. I'm like, oh, yeah, they, <laughs> yeah, them ones, no, them was the ones. <laughs> I'm like, you come back for sure. You, you welcome back anytime. Welcome to my humble abode. Hey, bro, we'll be here all day, man. What's one thing you got to say to the people before we leave? First of all, if you got a brand and you don't got me doing a rollout, you're out of your fucking mind. I'm the best in the city with this shit. N- niggas is not fucking with me. Respect to the niggas that's trying, but niggas is not on my level. Y'all got niggas, pick up a book. No, nah, some, on some humble <laughs> shit. <laughs> Uh, hold, hold, hold on, <laughs> bro. Hold on, bro. This is prime example, bro. I look. Hold on, bro. My bad. Nah, that's you this good. Is prime example. You good. Look, I DM someone, right? Right. She said, "Oh, you must have chose the free subscription on OnlyFans." No, on, in the DMs. I said, "What are you talking about?" What you mean, free subscription, bro? She said, my phone real quick, brother. Bro, she said, "Bro, she said you must have chose." The, I said, "What are you talking about?" She said, "Let me see if you really did it." I said, "What did I do?" She said, well, you could have OnlyFans. Oh, uh, she wants you to subscribe. Bro, I didn't even know she had OnlyFans, bro. First thing you're supposed to do is hit the link in that bio, brother. The link in the bio. Oh, uh, that's not good marketing. Exactly. Spe- which brings me back to my original point. You need me on your team right now. Your clothing brand, if you're an artist, I don't give a fuck if you're selling toothpaste. If there's anything to be sold, I'm the motherfucker to be selling it. I'm the motherfucker to be helping you sell it. And I know it's going to take some time for motherfuckers to realize, but by the time you see it, it's too late. I'm already out of here. So tap in with me. That's all I got to say. So you got to say? Yeah. And uh, actually, let me give a shout out to the shorty that we was talking about earlier. I just want to let her know I miss her. Let her know I miss her. I miss you. That's it. He miss you. He <laughs> say he needs you for Valentine's Day. Man, him going to be down. That. Man, him going to be down expensive. there. Uh, for real? She expensive. How much? Uh, uh, what's expensive? Bro, I work at Nordstrom, bro. I got you, bro. Whatever she need, I got you. 
I just spent last. I was in Nordstrom with her not too long ago. Spent a little. She had my card. Yeah, but no, I got you, bro. A little Tory. Whatever discounts you need, bro. Sure. Man, you feel me? Cologne, that's perfume. Yeah, that's it. She wants some red bottoms. I got her. We ain't doing that. Oh, uh, you don't love her that much, then? Nah, she gotta be. My, you gotta be my shorty. I'm not. That's a. Tr- that's when it becomes tricking. Like, so it's, it's if tricking you, if if you buy a girl some red bottoms. No, it's tricking if you give her everything before y'all have like connected. You feel me? Like, what do you? Lo- that's love bombing. Like, I I don't feel the need to impress any woman with anything materialistic because I'm. Facts. I, I'm sure y'all niggas feel this way too, but I really feel like I'm not nigga. So no, like, I, I don't need to like do nothing. Yeah. We gonna go on a date. I'm gonna buy you flowers. I'm gonna talk to you. I was saying that though because you really fuck with shorty though. You know what I mean? I do fuck with shorty, but wait, well, I don't know somebody's which one fucking you're shorty. So. Okay, damn. <sighs> it's it's okay though because just as I told my brother earlier, this Espelon must be talking. I don't know. I told my brother Smirko earlier. You just gotta be. <laughs> Never mind. I'm wild. Cut that out. <laughs> no, bro. Get crazy, bro. This I'll, is un- I'll, It's on your behalf. I'm trying to keep you safe. Man, come in and ki- bro. Come on, bro. What you got to say, bro? <laughs> Tizzy, <laughs> come on, I. <night. laughs> like I told my brother earlier, we're going we gonna to bleep the name. Like I told my brother earlier, you got to be patient. Sometimes, like when we was youngins, we was trying to get to all the box that we could. Now, if you just be patient, wait that two years, that shit will come back to you, and it'll come back better if you would have tried to rush it and force it. Just be patient with the nigga X still pouring shots, but he trying to end the interview. Nah, we about to end it, bro. Nah, keep going though. You talk, you talking. Um, but yeah, y'all, y'all niggas gotta learn to be patient, man. Like, once you make her feel like your goal is to get the the nana, it's gonna, it's, she's not gonna trust you with it. You leaving it in the, uh, the feminine's hands to make decisions. You want to make it easy for her to give it to you. Just just date the women. Listen to them. Talk to her. A lot of y'all niggas end up fucking, and uh, and this is an, an analogy speaking, somebody who's damaged because you ain't never spoke to her before. You ain't never talked to Shorty before, so you don't know her traumas. <laughs> you don't know what the, the situation she had with her pop. So by the time you smack it, you like, I'm trying to ghost her. She's fucking... Putting bricks through your window because you didn't know who you was fucking. If y'all niggas learn to talk to these women and get to know them and stop thinking with your dick, the older you get, the smarter decisions your dick make. If y'all just learn to talk to women and take your time with them and be patient with them and understand them and not try to, you not fucking like y'all gotta when you having sex you supposed to connect with a person. You not just fucking the person. And it don't gotta be with everybody. Talk to, them. but like y'all gotta. Chill, put pump the brakes. Take her on a date. Get her some flowers. And I ain't even pandering right now. This is this is really how I get down. Take her on a date. Talk to her nice. Tell her good morning. Ask her if she ate today. Pull up on her job. Pull up to her job with some food. You niggas gotta put the work in. Y'all fucking up the market. Hey man. <laughs> <laughs> hey, look, he not capping. Hey, but that's how we about to end this interview, man. I think I'm yeah. over time. Hey, bro, I appreciate you for coming on, bro. For sure, bro. Appreciate you for having me. For I sure, for surely, as you should, bro. You feel me? X Files, X Files, X Files, man. Jawan Hill right here, man. Living Lamar on Instagram. That's love. It's Living Lamar on TikTok. T- yeah. TikTok, Living Lamar. Follow him on both platforms. Untitled is the brand. Yeah. Content creator. Yeah. Marketing genius. Yeah. Author. Yeah. He's one of the hottest in the city right now, and I promise you, he really is. And I'm not just saying that because he up here. I know he ain't. You feel me? He know he is. That's all that matters. If you need, if you want good books to read and all that, if you need advice on anything, just hit him up. I'm, I'm sure he'll give you some genuine advice. Do not hit me up for advice, but you could buy a book. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Live on Lamar right here. <laughs> Appreciate on the gram and all that, man. X Files, X Files, X Files. Like, comment, subscribe on YouTube. Follow the follow the Instagram underscore underscore X Files. Underscore underscore X Files. And we out of here. Yes, sir. Ski. Getting it, getting these drugs, distributing, doubling money and flipping it. Back in the booth and I'm killing shit. On the same kettle ain't different. My niggas the same. We sending them shit.